Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn python variables constants and literals so guys what are python variables so in programming a variable is a container that is a storage area to hold data so as we have seen previously a number is a variable and we can provide the value that is 10 so previously we had seen a string variable in which we had stored some statement whereas we can also have the integer values being stored in the variables so over here if we move to our visual studio code so we can simply type number that is the variable name which can be assigned a value so equal to 10 so this is nothing but an integer value being assigned to a variable which is named as a number we can also have the string so let's say programming for beginners so we have programming for beginners as the string over here which can be assigned to a variable and the variable name can be given as str or it can be also given as message or any other name that you want to give while writing your python program so guys these are nothing but variables which can be used later on in the program basically their functionality is to store some values so in this case number is storing the value that is 10 and this str variable is storing the value that is programming for beginners string now guys it is very important to note that python is a type inferred language so you don't have to explicitly define the variable type it automatically knows that 10 is an integer and declares the number variable as the integer so guys basically it depends on the value that we are providing so just because you are typing number as the name of the variable it doesn't mean that it has to be necessarily having the integer value you can also have the string value as well so when i copy this and paste this over here the number will have programming for beginners but guys this doesn't make any sense over here but programmatically this is also possible that's because we don't have to provide any data type over here in the python programs so whatever the value is data type will be given to that particular variable based on the value that is being provided to the variable this is very important point as far as python programs are concerned in other programming languages such as java or c++ we have a very strict data type that needs to be provided before we provide our variable names over here and guys this is also one of the advantages of using the python program it allows us to write the code quickly compared to other programming languages now guys moving forward what is the python constant so basically a constant is a special type of variable whose value cannot be changed so for example as you can see the pi value is 3.14 so over here guys before defining the constant variable what we can do is if we simply print this variable over here that is print followed by number that is being given inside the parenthesis i'll save this file and try running this code now so as you can see programming for beginners is getting printed that's because the value is given as programming for beginners let's say i provide the integer that is 20 over here and then when i save this file and try running this code now the number should have the value that is 20 and that is what should be printed so as you can see when we run this code 20 is getting printed over here so whatever value is being stored and whichever variable we want to print the content of that variable will be printed now coming to the constants that we have just defined so in python let's say if you provide pi equal to 3.14 over here so instead of this number we provide pi it is equal to 3.14 i'll just remove this line of code and then simply i'll provide pi over here so what will happen is it will display this value that is 3.14 i'll save this file and try running this code now as you can see 3.14 is getting printed but guys what is the use of this constant basically we are saying that pi is constant over here that's because using this nomenclature that is the constant variable must have all the characters as the upper case so this can define that it is a constant over here but is it actually a constant no in this case since again we can use pi over here and we can provide some other values as well such as 5.15 over here so when i save this file and try running this code now it is saying now that pi is having 5.15 which is the latest value so guys there is no concept of python constants over here right now but what we can do is we can save this value in some other file so let's say i create another file over here and name it as constant followed by the extension that is dot py over here when we press enter we can simply provide this statement that is pi equal to 3.14 i just copy this and paste this over here so we have provided pi equal to 3.14 now what we can do is coming to this python code 
what we can do is we can use the import keyword now guys this import keyword is used in order to import some other python files into this file so that we can use the content of that other python files over here so we are going to import this constant.py in our python code program so import we can say constant over here so when we type constant as you can see constant is getting auto suggested over here that's the very important feature of the intellisense which is included in the python extension that we had installed so we provide constant over here and what we have to do is while printing we can simply provide this constant over here that is constant followed by dot and then as you can see pi is getting auto suggested that's because we had defined pi over here so we simply have to provide pi so what will happen is it will print the value of the pi so when we save this file and try running this code now once again it says module constant has no attribute pi so guys that may be because we have not saved this file that is constant let me come over here and save this file over here once again and i'll go to this python code and then run this file once again so as you can see now 3.14 is getting displayed so guys if you want to use some constant values you can have a separate file that is constant.py in which you can store all the constant variables let's say we have another variable over here that is str and then we provide string as the value so this str can also be treated as a constant for which the values never change while we are executing the code i'll save this file over here and let's say if i want to print the string as well so i'll copy this line of code paste this over here and instead of pi we will provide str now so we provide constant.py and constant.str also so when we save this file and try running this code now we get both the things that is 3.14 we get the string value as well so if you want to use the constants in python you can have a separate file all of the constants can be defined over there and then you can import that constant file and use the various variables that you have defined as constant in order to write your python programs so guys moving forward over here what are python literals literals are representations of fixed values in a program they can be numbers characters or strings etc for example hello world is one of the literal then 12 is another literal 23.0 and then c character true false etc so guys literals are nothing but these values so basically this value it is a literal this particular name that we have given is the identifier or also called as variable but in this case it is a constant now this variable becomes constant when the value cannot be changed but we can change this anytime in this code but not over here an identifier can be a constant when we don't want to change its value anytime in our python program and again this string value inside the double quotes it is a literal so guys i hope you have got enough knowledge about the variables literals and the constant values as far as python programming is concerned so that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is python data type so stay tuned